equalizer bar inverted row. These things are super cool. My husband made these for me. These are made out of PVC pipe. Costs about 20 bucks. If you want to know how to do it, you can message me and ask. You can also, of course, buy these online made out of metal. They'll be a little more stable than the PVC, but I promise you this gets the job done. Set them up close to each other. Got my big booty in here. <clears throat> You're going to come down for an inverted row. I'm inverted. Get it? Because I'm turned up. Turn. You're going to come down. You're going to hold with an underhand grip. I want you to make sure you're gripping all the way around. So not a false grip, a full grip. This is a great exercise that I program when you are learning to do pull-ups, hey, and chins. You're going to look straight up. Try to keep the straightest neck and spine you can. I've got my feet bent. This would be level one. You're going to breathe in, breathe out, and pull. Come down. Breathe up trying to get your chest up to your hands, okay? As you're moving, you're drawing your shoulder blades in and back. You're squeezing your back muscles so hard, your elbows are narrow. An option to do these as well is to put your feet up on if you had a weight bench, if you had your aerobic step, something like that. That's a great way for a different feel and different range. But this is your basic inverted row with the equalizers. You, of course, can extend out. The thing with this move is make sure you're ready before you add the extension because it's quite a bit more challenging and you won't get as much range. And what you want here is range. You want that big, beautiful burn in the back of the body. So I recommend rather than a long leg elevating so that you can maintain range once you're ready for a little more of a challenge. So start with the bent knee and then move on to add the range. 